Hey y'all, welcome to the Clock Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. Five cards, five minutes for Licorice Recoil, rares and double rares. Brandon, what's the first card? First up, we have this level one combo. On play, as long as you have another character, it gets 2,000 power, so it sits at 6-5 on the turn played. On attack, as long as you have the pants in play, and two other characters as well, mill two, salvage equal to the level of those two characters combined, or the cigarettes effect, add it to hand, and then look it up to two cards from the top of your deck, you're able to rearrange them in any order. So effectively choosing your own trigger. This is just two pretty good effects stapled onto the same combo. Like cigarettes is fine. It's kind of been the baseline for a decent playable level one for a while. And now on top of that, you also get to one fix your trigger. So you don't trigger CX. So you can mill your CX in the next cigarettes. Or you can choose between two cards of two different levels so that you can mill the higher one off of the cigarettes combo, so that you have more targets. Maybe that card itself as a target for your combo. And on the last attack, if you try field this, you can potentially fix a CX to the top of your deck and get a cancel next turn. Generically, this is just good. It's not going to set the world on fire, but it does quite a bit. Next, we have a two-card level three combo, starting with the Chisato 3-2. On play, salvage. It combos with the salvage trigger. Pay three, pitch one at the end of this card's attack to restand this, as long as you have two or more other characters, and you will. The other card that pairs at the same CX, the Takina level three, on play, heal. When you play the CX, you can put a copy of the level three Chisato underneath this Takina as a marker. If you do, all of your other characters get 3k, and on attack, your opponent mills one. If it's a level zero card, burn one. So effectively what this ends up looking like is you have a Takina and two Chisato. The Takina gives both of the Chisados uh, two chances to mill one, burn one, because both of those Chisados are going to restand. You can do this for, I think, eight stock, and you also have some other pieces that will get you extra stock. So Probably closes from 3-0 okay, and at least has the ceiling to close from deeper. Yeah, especially with the ability to potentially give your restander the ability to potentially burn one every time it attacks, I think is a really useful thing when you're especially trying to close out a game. Another two-card pairing that I think works really well, this level three and assist here. Going into the level three, if you have two or more other characters, it gets additional 3,000 power. So sitting at 11-5 by itself. On play heal. The combo at the end of the card's attack is a pay two. Maybe you have the choice in play. It gets an additional 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's turn. And it gives the character across from it minus three soul. So on your opponent's turn, without any additional assists, you're looking at 13-5. With the assist that we run with it, it gives that character in front of it initial 500 power, specifically this level three. It also gives the ability of hexproof. So this card cannot be targeted by opponent's effects. So anti-change counter doesn't work on it, for example. It also gives an additional 1,500 power to characters in front, so additional 2k power. So defensively, your characters are looking at 15-5 now. And has the ability to pay 3 rest self to put the level 3 on stage from hand. With the ability to put the level 3 on stage, you can technically do this as early as 1 if you stand by this card in. It does require a lot of stock. Um, so you do have to be able to generate and build up that stock. But at the same time, the fact you can get this online that early, I think is pretty amazing too. There is a universe in which this becomes really obnoxious, where someone takes this into the lab and figures out a way to pretty consistently get this 3-2 down as early as, you know, the second turn at level one with the standby. I don't think that's particularly viable because you're kind of going to be running out of resources to make that work, but it is technically possible. It costs nine stock to triple this. If you have the two one in the back row already to just play all three of these from hand at three. So it's expensive, but it is hexproof Nexol. It solves the fundamental problem with Nexol is that Nexol has always been pretty removable. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back on Tuesday with the Clock Talk Thursday with probably more five cards, five minutes for Lyco Reco, and then the following week, a deck and some gameplay. Until next time, thank you so much for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. We'll see you then.